Well, hey, Connor, how's it going? Good to see you again. Big congratulations on the contract. Awesome to see. So first of all, I just got to know, how are you doing? How's the day been so far? So thank you for having me again. Um, I actually feel great. I've been training very hard and uh, I'm ready to fight anytime. Awesome. Of course. Yeah, still been a while, but at least we know kind of the idea of when things are going to happen. So awesome to see. And I mean, when did you find out about the news? Because I mean, was this in the works the last time we caught up or is it, is it pretty new? I think I don't remember the exact date, but uh, I think I got the offer sometime in November. Mid November. So last time we talked, I, I didn't know about it. All right. And I mean, we were talking last time about how, you know, you really wanted to go do international fights again against some other people and, you know, hopefully maybe getting to fight in Bellator again. And now it's happening. So what was your initial reaction? I, I'm sure it was great news, of course, because that was kind of what you were hoping for anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm very excited to get this opportunity. I've always wanted to face, you know, like, like I said, I've always wanted to face international competition. So, you know, I'm very motivated and I'm very excited to uh, be part of uh, uh, their roster. Yeah, and I mean, I know that you didn't go to the Olympics or anything for judo, but does it kind of feel like that because of all the possibilities of different people from all over the world? Does it kind of feel like the MMA Olympics a little bit? <laughs> So I wasn't able to make the Olympics, but uh, I'm actually very excited to be able to challenge myself in international competition. So this is definitely a, a great motivating challenge for me, and I'm very excited to be, uh, put myself under these uh, conditions. I yeah, can't wait to see it, you know, the great division the Bellator has in the flyweight division, uh, plenty of possibilities for great opponents and everything. And I mean, do you feel happy at all to have fought in Bellator officially, you know, before before officially signing with them, having fought already? Because, you know, maybe it takes a little bit of pressure off of your next fight because you've already fought there now. Yeah, so it, it definitely helps that I've fought in their, uh, their event once because Bellator uses their circular cage instead of the one with corners so it definitely will make it easier for me if i it, for my next fight because i've already fought in the circle rate cage and, and I, I know what it feels like <clears throat> and definitely the operation the whole fight week experience is different so it's definitely nice to know that i've done it once before yeah, and I mean, in hindsight, it's kind of like uh, your debut in Bellator last year was kind of like a job interview, huh? <laughs> so, this is it. Hi. It was a job interview, yes. <laughs> Worked out, got the job. So here we are. <laughs> and I mean, I know obviously this is a very, very brand new thing. And, you know, at the time that we're talking right now, nobody else knows about it. So, I mean, has there been any preliminary talks about you know who you could fight first or when it might be that's probably more realistic is the when rather than who right now but you tell me yeah we haven't gone into details of opponents and and the dates yet right right still very fresh of course the ink is still drying as they say um but you know i mean does the opportunity also of just getting to you know fight in bellator from Ryzen and being from Japan and everything, does it feel all that more special and kind of motivating to know that now you're their only Japanese flyweight and, you know, trying to become the first female Japanese champion? And I mean, you'd only be the second overall champion too behind Horiguchi, who is also from Ryzen. So you're undefe the Japanese are undefeated in title fights so far. So, I mean, but does it feel more special, um, you know, with all that in mind? It's a, it's a special platform where not everybody gets to compete in. So I'm very honored and I would, I'm, I'm very, I feel obligated to, to perform and prove to the world that Japanese fighters are, are good. And Japanese fighters are strong. So uh, that's my mindset heading into uh, this contract. Yeah. And I'm sure that the motivation has got to be boosted all that much higher too, because now this is your first time where you can really chase after a title, right? Because Ryzen and Deep Jewels, they both didn't have a flyweight title. So that's got to be a really big factor to, you know, but you, of course, you already want to do good, but to really push you to train even harder and get that, get the gold. I think the motivation is much higher because there's a belt and there's a champion to go after. 
So, uh, you know, that's, that's going to be my goal is to go after that champion or the belt, whoever has it at the time. But yes, it's very motivating. Of course. And I mean, just speaking of the champion, you know, she's fighting next week. She's back defending her title, Liam Lea McFarlane. You know, one of the best flyweights ever, of course, undefeated herself. Plenty of title defenses at this point and taking on also an undefeated challenger in Juliana Velasquez, who has, you know, her judo background. So, I mean, I don't know if you know much about Juliana or anything, but, you know, of course, Alima, very notable. Do you have any predictions for this fight? I got to see if you <laughs> can get a prediction out of you for the, the upcoming title fight now that you're in Bellator. I've seen, uh, I've seen plenty of Alima's fights. But uh, I haven't, to, to be honest, I haven't really seen too much of Juliana's uh, fights. So I'm not quite sure how I can predict this fight. But it's still, I'm still very excited to see what's going to happen. I'm very, very excited to see the fight itself. And, uh, you know, hopefully I get to learn a lot from that fight. All right. I just had to ask because I had to see if you would lean towards the judo person. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I've seen Julia's highlights and all. And, uh... She, her striking is very good. She's, she doesn't really lean heavily on her judo skills. So she's a very well-rounded fighter, and, and Lima is definitely a well-rounded fighter. So my point of this fight is that probably, you know, two good, well-rounded fighters going at it. And I'm sure there's going to be a point where Julia is going to have to utilize her judo skills. So I'm, I'm excited to see where that comes in, in play. So in terms of, you know, how, how am I going to watch that fight is that, you know, where and when can Julia utilize her judo skills? And that's something I'll be looking forward for. Yeah, definitely. And I, I can't wait for it. It's going to be awesome. They should have fought, you know, already, I think. So very excited that it's finally happening. And um, so I, I'm very curious, you know, when you look back on things, your career so far, Deep Jewels and Ryzen, you know, what are your best or favorite memories that you would say you had from each Deep Jewels and Ryzen, if you can, if you can pick out any specifically? So this is for both for both organizations the most memorable fights will be my first fights so for deep jewels uh, for deep jewels it was my debut fight as an mma fighter as my mma debut fight and uh, i remember thinking to myself that my body is moving as i expected actually better than i expected so i was having a lot of fun i remember i remember enjoying my first fight in deep jewels and uh, as for Ryzen, uh, I fought against a very tough veteran, uh, Sugiyama-san. And uh, I remember fighting a very tough fight and being, being able to win that fight. So that was a very memorable, memorable moment for Ryzen. Yeah, I mean, both great picks. And of course, the, the starting points really so make sense that you would go with those ones. Yeah, great, great wins for sure. Everybody was kind of thinking, you know, we talked about it last time too, but the Rin Nakai fight was the last thing that you had as a possibility really in Japan and fought everybody else already. So does it feel like you kind of missed out on that one or is it just, you know, whatever, it didn't happen. It, it is what it is. So for me, I don't really care for my opponents. I don't really pick my opponents. Um, it's more of whatever I want to challenge and that changes who I will be fighting. So I don't really have a specific pick for anybody. It's more of where I challenge, where I put myself in, the opponents will come. So, you know, if the timing's right and if the opportunity presents itself uh, to fight Nakai again, um, you know, I'm sure I'd be happy to do that. Yeah, just a, just a matter of timing, like you said, of course. So... Um, you know, and speaking of timing, you know, it's been, you've had a very long break now from fighting, unfortunately, just how things have worked out in the world and everything. But during this time, you know, I'm curious if, you know, because some fighters who are really good at one thing, right? Like, for example, you know, your judo, of course, some, maybe they don't train it as much as other aspects because they're already good at it. So for, for like you during this break and everything, have, has it been mostly honing weaker areas of your game? Or is it important to, you know, kind of keep working on everything and stay balanced with what's being worked on? So I've been fought over a year and uh, that's a long time to be able to train on something. And uh, obviously because of the whole pandemic, I wasn't able to cross train with, uh, with several people. So I had to limit my training to a few people. 
But、uh, <clears throat> overall, I, I worked on everything.、Um, I definitely worked on my striking, which is my weak part of、uh, the game.、Um, and I have definitely worked on a lot of my,、uh, my ground control, which is my bread and butter. So I do have a lot of confidence that I could. Probably control anybody once I take it to the ground. But also the、uh, the transitions from striking to a takedown. So I've been I've been working out, out working on all aspects of the game equally. Yeah, I mean, plenty of time to, to work on everything, right? So, <laughs> no, no reason not to.、Um, and very excited to see how it all plays out in the next fight, whenever that comes. But、um, all right, I will leave you with one last thing here, Kana. Thanks again so much. Great getting to chat with you always. So, I, I recently spoke to Rena Panchen, and you know, I asked her about、uh, what was the most fun you know, video that she got to be a part of or do, you know, the, just making a video. And、uh, she mentioned the, the maid outfits that you guys put on when you guys put on maid outfits and were working out and stuff. So, well, what would you say has been the most fun you've had making a video? I got to know. So, this is. For me, one of the best stuff is、uh, I like to do the challenge stuff, like all you can eat challenge type videos. Because usually I'm on a strict diet and I have to watch what I eat. So,、um, like when I did the all you can eat donut challenge, that was, that was a lot of fun.、Um, I do enjoy those eating challenges.、Um, and speaking of Panchan,、uh, I think I have something very interesting planned、uh, to do with a collaboration to do with her. So, please look forward to that. <laughs> All right. Well, that is very exciting. And, you know, the food stuff, that is always fun. I don't think I've seen the donut one. That's, <laughs> I'll have to go check that out. And I mean, it, with, with Panchan, though, in the maid outfits, she hit you really hard with the medicine ball. I think you were going easy on her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was taking it easy on her, but she didn't hold back on me. It hurt. Yeah, it, did, it didn't look good. <laughs> looked painful.、Uh, oh, that's great. <laughs> all right, Connor. Well, that is all I got for you. I will leave you with that. Of course, got to leave on medicine balls. Who would have thought? So <laughs> thank you so much again for you know, taking the time here. Massive congratulations on the contract. Very exciting. And、uh, you know, just for taking the time to chat here, always fun. I got to a Zaymasta. You know, can't wait to see when you're back. And,、uh, you know, wish you a happy rest of the year and happy new year once it comes. So, you know, enjoy. Oh, hey, you made it to the end. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see more like it, give it a like and maybe subscribe if you haven't already. Until then, we'll see you next time.